Hi everyone, this is Daniel Eigerman here for the Daniel Eigerman Broker Forum. I hope you are all doing well and are having a beautiful weekend here in Perth. The weather has been absolutely magical, really enjoying it. Um, today what I'd like to do is to talk to you about how to actually structure your loans for the future uh, flexibility. Um, the reason I want to talk about this particular question of structuring your loans is because I've been trying to help a client get out of a, a bit of a mess that he's finding himself into right now. About three years ago, I'll give you a bit of background, three years ago he bought a, his first property and then about a year after that he wanted to buy a second property. So because he went directly to the bank, the bank pretty much said to him, oh yeah, of course we can do it. How about we put everything together? We'll draw two loans against it. You can go up to 95%. He was buying an investment property at the time, and you're fine. So basically what the bank said is that we basically advised him to keep all his um, properties under one roof with one bank, all together as a security to his loans. And that's called cross-collateralizing. And if you do a bit of research about know how to create a strong flexible portfolio which you can grow by adding more properties you will come across that term cross collateralizing the what is really interesting is that the banks are for it and the good brokers usually advise against it you see when you start with one property and you want to buy you want to buy a second property you have two choices you can either combine the two securities like my friend my client did or what you can do is keep them completely separate. So you can draw a loan against one property, the first one that you buy, and then you can draw another loan with another bank or maybe with the same bank, but making sure the securities are separate against that particular security. So what you end up with is a loan secured against one property and a second loan secured against the second property. And therefore, you've avoided uh, cross collaboration and the two uh, properties are separate. The ideal situation is to have the two properties financed with different lenders. Sometimes you can do it with both uh, both properties with the same lender, but make sure that you read your contract, your loan contract, and make sure that the bank hasn't tried to cross collateralize, i.e., to put these two securities together when you get the second loan. All right. So make sure that if you're looking at growing your portfolio, make sure to check your loan contracts and make sure that if you are setting up a new loan that you keep these loans and securities separate okay so that's my advice for today cross collateralization is usually not an issue until it becomes an issue all right and, and just very quickly before i forget i just want to let you know about my my client what he had done as i said is combined the two ended up with an nvr of about 95 percent and that was four years ago in perth unfortunately prices have come down and now he wants to sell one property. The problem is that when he sells a property, he can he barely sells at the price that will barely cover his loan. Right? But what happens is that because he's cross collateralized everything together, his remaining loan and his remaining security, his LVR is now at 105%. Okay, so what you can do is when you are in that situation, the banks will want you to bring that LVR for an investment property down to 90%. So what can you do? You can either, if you have some cash available, you can pay down the loan so it comes down to 90%. If you don't have the cash, the banks rarely will force you to sell, but you can negotiate with the bank and see whether there's a way you can restructure that remaining loan so that that portion that represents about 10 to 15% can be either paid quicker with a shorter term. Or there's ways you can do it, and if you don't know, uh, you can always call me on um, 412 0 and we can see together and with your bank what the options are. But please remember, how you structure your loan today will determine what you can do tomorrow, whether you want to sell a property or whether you want to add properties uh, to your portfolio. Hopefully that was helpful uh, today. Uh, next week I'll have another guest that should be on Friday. I will tell you all about it obviously on Friday, but I hope you uh, actually I hope you enjoyed the the one that I did last uh, week with uh, David Humble of Stratton Finance about car finance. I thought that that was very very useful. I got some really good feedback. So if you get more feedback or more questions or there are some particular guests you want me to talk to, 
uh, please let me know. The same, leave a message uh, down or post a message or IM me directly. Thank you. Have a great week. Bye.